You'd move. Um, you'd move RJ. Yes, for Fox. Yes, interesting. I, I'd, be cur- I'd be curious what Knicks fans. Oh, say and about I, I mean, in two seconds, I would move him. Trade wish. I'm going to move to that one. It was a little bit later in our list, but I'm going to move to it now because you had mentioned the Sacramento Kings. So I think that it has been too long since there has been a star for the Bing Bong Knicks. Um, But I do think that the timing is right. They're kind of just keeping their head above water you know, with this nothing season that they're having right now. But when I read an article like I did last week about the availability of De'Aaron Fox, I think Fox could be like a king of New York. And I think he gets to learn under Derrick Rose. I want the Knicks to make a Fox trade. Wow. That's the trade trade. I want to see. I think, you know, they got the whole Kentucky crew there already. You know, all these people that he's been familiar with forever, whether it's Leon or it's World Wide West or it's Kenny Payne. Like all these guys, all the old Kentucky guys are all there. So you've got this comfortability. He moves to media market number one. I am much higher on Fox than you or many of my peers. I think that his best days are still ahead of him. And I do think that under the bright lights and with the attention that comes in New York, that you would get a different guy. I'm sure he's been beaten down by the years in Sacramento so far. And I think you infuse this player that I believe in greatly with this massive shot of adrenaline. I think it would be the best thing for his career to play for Tibbs. I think it would be the best thing for his career to have Rose right there along his side, somebody that Rose would absolutely take under his wing and he could learn from. And, you know, they've got they got enough young pieces and they got some trade assets that they could move. But that's my that's my trade wish. Uh, if he is truly available, I think that is the absolute perfect fit. And I think he would have this uh, meteoric rise. In New York, I would love to see Fox in a Knicks uniform, and I think Knicks fans would just absolutely love him. So, I mean, you're kind of viewing this through the lens of a Knicks fan, like what Fox could be for New York. I I think for Kings fan, the flip side of that, to tie this to the team that I made my wish for, you know, Chris, you, you you said earlier too long it reminded me of the it just it started playing the song too long by daft punk in my head um and it's been too long for the kings to make the playoffs um the feeling's getting strong that they might chris uh, and i think for them tyrese halliburton this past week 24 points per game 10.7 assists per game shooting 57 percent from three unsustainable numbers there but the 24 and 10 to only four turnovers last three games. It's just a, a, a little splash, a sign of what could be. This is still only year two. In year two, we talked about this a couple of weeks ago. It feels like he's the same guy that he was last season as a rookie, which is a really good player still. Like, no knock against that. But the last week, like I said, 24 points per game, 10.7 assists per game to only 3.7 turnovers. And he just looks like he's just in control on the court. And granted, I mean, you saw him against Memphis have a really strong game. It was against San Antonio and then against Golden State on Monday night. But uh, I think for Sacramento. But that's against the, the, three. I mean, look, San Antonio is the worst not bad of those, teams, but, man. But I mean, Memphis have been playing great. Obviously, Golden State's got the best record in the league. And San Antonio, you know, say what you want about them, but they've got. They've got perimeter defenders. Oh, yeah. So it's no picnic. And it, he, you know what? This second time I saw him, he looked way different confidence-wise. He just looked really beaten down the first time I saw him and just kind of going through the motions. Did. Yeah. I mean, he had the ball in his hands the whole damn game. That's part of it, right? I mean, he got the ball in your hands a lot. Um, so he had the ball in his hands a ton during the game. They had very, very few players available. Uh, and then they just didn't have enough and it petered out, but he looked much better uh, 
in the last game. And, 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 and I mean, playing 39 minutes per game the last week is no joke either. And I, one of the one of the little things I really like about Halliburton is he's kind of got that, you know, how Trey Young, when he's in the lane, Chris, and he throws up a floater or a lob to John Collins or Clint Capella, and it looks the same. Like, you really don't know when it leaves his hands if he's throwing a lob or a floater. Halliburton's kind of got that same thing because he uses a lot of floaters. And his first assist in last night's game, he he's driving the lane against Golden State. And he throws a lob to our good friend, Tristan Thompson, for a dunk. I don't know. And like, you know, he, he hits so many floaters. I, when the play happened, I was like, is this going to be a floater? Is this going to be a lob? He's got that little disguised action in his game um, that can make him hard for defenses to Well, and read. he's got a good connection with Holmes, too. Yeah, or Rashawn Holmes. For sure. Had, had but a they've, great been, year, man. Yeah. they've been without him quite a bit. Yeah, um, they, they, they got to get him back. You know what? But I mean, if you uh, so you were talking about the Kings. I mean, if I have to move Barrett, I got to move Obi or some of my young pieces in order to acquire Fox. And I could try to still be able to pair Fox with Randall and make something out of that. You'd move, um, you'd move RJ? Yes. For Fox? Yes. Interesting. I, Absolutely. I'd, be cur- I'd be curious what Knicks fans oh, say. Oh, I, I mean, in two seconds, I would move him for, for, for Fox. Interesting. Yes. Yes. Hmm. I mean, I think Fox is all star, all star. I think the jury's still out on RJ. You know what I mean? I mean? I'm not saying he can't be, but I'm saying the jury's still out. But I'm convinced with Fox at his best on a good team with good players around him. I mean, hell, what he averaged, 25 a game last year or something like that? And, I mean, they weren't a horrendous team. Um, I think, yeah, I think he's special. That's my opinion. 